Hello, I am way behind showing my finds over the past couple of weeks. I wanted to show this bottle here. It's a painted label, but I just want to show you. Uh, it's got 1975 on it. And on the bottom, it's got Selena, Selena Kansas on it. I didn't know they put... I don't guess I knew they put a city name on a painted bottle, but there's proof. And uh, let's see, I found this one yesterday. Little Rock, 68. It's got some caseware. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, this is, needs to be cleaned. Uh, 78? Yeah, I guess so. It's got the lines in between the... And it's uh, six and a half. Little rock. Let's see, this one has got the lines. The C from Little Rock. And it's... Uh, 69 yeah it's a nice looking bottle there okay you just don't see this kind of motor oil anymore DX uh, Tulsa Oklahoma Okay, I've got this door lock. Um, it's been going through electrolysis for, I don't know, but I still can't get it to work and I can't get that stupid screw out uh, this side, right there. Um, I'd like to get it to work, but I don't know if I ever will. That thing's from like, I found that like two weeks ago. So I'm still working on it. Okay, here's just a couple of the painted label. That Suncrest I found yesterday. Yeah, um, it's Art Deco, king size. Uh, and this Sparks. I think I found that about a month ago, but it's been drying. And we say, well, you find barks everywhere, but they're so hard to to get to where they're perfect, a perfect one. Uh, it's got a 74 on it. And you saw the Orange Crush turned out pretty good. Uh, see, this is uh, f from 66, yeah, 1966. Nice looking bottle. I wish all the paint was still good on it. Okay, this is the uh, seven up I found yesterday. The paint did not hold up. It's got it was up against a can right there, and I started scrubbing on it, and the paint started coming off. So that's from uh, 1970. Pre-barcode. I think that was uh, 74 by the Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Uh, I think it was 74. Right around in there. 
uh, the barcode was invented. These are my smalls. It's like uh, this full of smalls and I just let the rainwater clean them off and then I'll one day maybe I'll clean them up. Okay, I had to come outside to show this one uh, for Relic Finds with Baltimore Digger. This one's for you. Um, I don't know if you can see the ghost image up top, but there's a a line of animals, uh, chicken, turkey, a dog, and it's got a two uh, dogs here. Hope you can see that. I can't. And it's got a chicken or a rooster, and it's got a wind vane. The little doll head, somebody asked me to repost this. Uh, I, I just can't get the stains off of her. I let her soak in bleach and she's starting to lose the blue in her eyes. She did clean up nice in the on the inside because I used bottle that stuff I clean my bottles with. But I just can't get it off the off the face.